I was in Stormont. I would, my detail as the chairperson of Sinn Féin at the time was to respond to the international media. Martin and others were here in Derry, uh, which is where I would love to have been as well, but somebody had to do the international media, which was based in Belfast and based in Derry. And, uh, so I spent the day with other representatives of political parties, but in particular, and mostly that day, doing, uh, doing interviews alongside Arlene Foster on behalf of the DUP. Never talked to the British justice. Still don't. The inquiry itself, the morning of the inquiry itself, I went to work, put up the crowd control barriers around the guild hill, went home, got changed, changed my clothes, came back again and joined the march over towards the guild hall, went down to the the guilt hall to hear the well, the fact to see the result of the inquiry and in fact I very nearly didn't get into the guilt hall because I was stopped by a security man who was to me I never seen a person as pro as pro British and his attitude and his his stature and I wouldn't wear my badge, my security badge, as a principal. I had it in my hand, and he stopped me and he asked me where I was going, and I politely told him where the, did he think I was going, and what did he think I was here for. And I think a couple of people had to intervene to kind of calm the situation, but I was looking for, I was looking for, for a ride. I actually think she was genuinely touched and unhappy for the people of Derry, which might sound like an odd thing to say, given you know, or, or sometimes or or bad tempered kind of outcomes. But she had a bit of history herself, right? Including her father being R E C and attacked by the IRA, and she was in a school bus and all things. that was attacked by the IRA and, and a, a, a bomb placed in. So she had her own traumas to kind of deal with. And at different times, you know, she would say the right thing. And she did, I think, with, with considerable dignity, say the right things. She didn't challenge the verdict, she accepted it, and she reflected that on behalf of her party. But in between, when there were no cameras on her, she was saying almost to herself, but, you know, in my presence, she was saying this is very difficult. Because her own trauma was coming up, just well enough. You know, she's probably saying to herself, you know, what well, with my family. But she said all the right things. And, and in a way, it was an important kind of uh, lesson for me because it gave you the kind of sense that through the peace process, you got the bloody Sunday, the Widgery Report rubbished and scrapped. You didn't get the complete truth, but you got the exposure and you got the British Prime Minister admitting that people had been murdered who were innocent, totally innocent. The part relating to me was sectioned off so I could read that part but I'd read the whole lot and I wasn't happy with it at all. The, as much as says that I didn't see Jim Ray, soldiers shooting Jim Ray. And like the man was ten foot away from me when the boy shot him in the back.